is the business we are in at LSU, providing a world-class experience for our student athletes to compete and earn their degrees. Hello Tiger fans, I'm Emily Dixon and welcome to this week's episode of Inside LSU Sports presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Campus is buzzing as we reach the midway point of spring sports and postseason for some others. From Tiger Park to Tiger Stadium, we have it all covered just for you. But let's kick things off with Mike Smith and LSU Gymnastics head coach Jay Clark as the Tigers survived and advanced on a trip out west in the NCAA Regionals. Up next, NCAA Championships. Inside LSU Sports, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, is brought to you each week by the eight partners that represent Team LSU. Cox, the official communications provider of LSU Athletics. McDonald's, official sponsor of the LSU Tigers. Our Lady of the Lake, official healthcare provider of LSU Athletics. Planet Fitness, official gym partner of the LSU Tigers. Ross's Markets, Official Supermarket of LSU Athletics. Coca-Cola, official beverage partner of the LSU Tigers. People's Health, the official health plan of LSU Athletics. And by Hancock Whitney, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by Williamson Cosmetic Center and Paranac Aesthetic Surgery, where you'll always place first with us. Hello Tiger fans and welcome once again inside LSU Sports. I'm Mike Smith. Head coach Jay Clark comes along in just a moment. Your Fighting Tigers are in the postseason. The NCAA Gymnastics Championship is well underway and your Fighting Tigers have punched their ticket to Fort Worth and will compete for the national championship coming up shortly. Head coach Jay Clark, your team fought like Tigers out in Salt Lake City. A tough regional with lots of great competition, which of course is only gonna make each of those teams better. But you know, you fought in the very first night for a spot to advance to night two, and your Bars team propelled the Fighting Tigers to a really great score. Yeah, it was, I mean, we needed it. It was clutch performance on, on Bars the first night. We were not at our best, um, you know, previous to that, except Vault. Vault had done really well also, but um, just a, just a gutsy performance that was a meat grinder of a weekend all the way around but uh, to see bars do what they did and to set a record for our, uh, an NCAA regional uh, school history that's uh, that was a good way to finish it out well Jay you mentioned vaulting a big score also on night one which really helped set the table for the Tigers through the second half of the meet dive into that a little deeper because that's been an yeah. event that has been really really coming for these Tigers over the last couple of months well we started out on beam and it was a little rough we moved up every event after that we really started to catch our momentum and vault was really where it uh, where it looked the most normal for the last couple of months and as you mentioned vault has been our, probably our best event over the last month and a half plus. Bob's done a great job of getting those kids dialed in. Once he was able to get the entirety of his best lineup out there, um, it's been good. And, and Chase Brock actually went in for Sammy and started us off with a 9-9 on that event, which was tremendous for us. And uh, she's got a nice vault, and it was good to see her be able to get in there and go in for Sam when we needed her to. And then that score continued to just build and build and build. And of course, the back end of that lineup is as good as it gets yeah. in all the collegiate gymnastics. Well, you go Sarah Edwards, Kaya Johnson, and Haley Bryant. I don't know that there's three at the end of any lineup that are as good as those when they're dialed in. And, and they were pretty dialed in on this night. Big scores from the Tigers on bars and vaulting in night one. Night two is coming up right after this quick timeout inside LSU Sports. you love to play academy sports and outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your academy store
cake, mi amor. Mm -hmm. Ice cream? Yeah! Okay. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. When you're expecting, you have expectations. But what if there was more? What if your caregivers were your teachers and your cheerleaders and they helped you plan and prepare so you can have a voice in your care? This is the experience of a lifetime and experience matters. Your experience starts with the Pregnancy Navigator at Woman's Hospital. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by TJ Rims, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Welcome back Inside LSU Sports from the LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the beautiful LSU campus in Baton Rouge. Spring is sprung, azaleas everywhere. You gotta come down and see this great campus if you haven't seen it in quite a while. So your Fighting Tigers have advanced from night one into night two, which is also known as the regional final of the NCAA Gymnastics Championship in Salt Lake City, Utah. Jay, the competition just ratchets up mm -hmm. another level, but your Tigers were there to meet the challenge and get off to a great start on the floor exercise. Well, what we've done in this new format, Mike, is taken what used to be the uh, spreading out of the better teams over the court over six regionals and we've concentrated that into four and so when you get to the what is the third round of our tournament now as we label it it it's tight and it it was like i said before it was a meat grinder in there and the the, the team all four teams were capable of advancing and uh and i think you saw that i mean it, to, for two teams to finish with a 197.6 and not get in we had to start fast and we got out there and did just that we liked the idea of starting on floor and, and being able to start on an event that we were pretty confident on and the 49.475 is a good fast start. It was indeed for the Fighting Tigers and I'm glad you mentioned it because the, the level of competition was at such a level that it really was going to take focus uh, from the team over the entirety of the two hours. I mean really this is this is the true test because only two get to advance to the national championship. That's, that's correct and it it was uh, it's a fast paced meet much like the SEC championships you don't have a whole lot of time to uh, rest on your laurels if you do well or to get you know stuck in the mud if you don't so it's uh, it's uh, it's something that you've just got to keep keep your mind moving forward and get through it and so you did that you of course moved from floor over into vaulting and again it seemed like you just kept it and just kept that same momentum you had mm -hmm. from night mm -hmm. one pushed it over into night two and that was really great to see it was and and uh, another 49 475 on vault capped off by Haley Bryant's 10 where she just planted it and we went nuts on the side. We needed it and then you, the reaction showed a little bit of a release of, of tension because we needed that big score in that moment. We knew that we were in a tight meet and, uh, and for her to do that uh, just kind of propelled us forward a little bit. So after the first half of the meet, the Tigers are right there. I mean, you're right there in the thick of this competition, but you know now you have the leg events out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting into the more technical events. Yeah. You're moving right into the uneven bars, and it was going to take every bit of focus these Tigers could muster. Well, if you'd have told me we'd have been a 98-95 halfway through the meet, I would have told you we'd have been pretty far ahead. Uh, but as it was, we were a half or a quarter tenth behind uh, Utah and uh, only about two tenths ahead of Kentucky <laughs> and Arizona State. So things were things were really crazy at that point, and we knew we had to hit and go into bars. We were comfortable about that, and then had an uncharacteristic mistake from from Kaya Johnson. I don't know that I've ever, whether it's practice, warm ups, meets, anything, ever seen her go over on a handstand. 
and first up she went and uh, went over on a handstand. So it challenged the rest of our lineup and it was great to see Chase Brock answer the bell and do what she have one of the better bar routines she's done all year. And you've developed that bar's lineup to sort of build all the way to the end, of course, ending with the senior uh, in, in Sammy Durante there. And I thought on balance, that event helped really set the table for balance beam because you knew that, okay, going in, that experience that you've got on beam could be the difference. Yeah, it, it could have been, and 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 it ended up it ended up being that we we were not our best on bars, but we did enough to to really stay in the meet, and that was really what we needed to do, particularly after having a fall on the first routine. But going to beam, and we were down a quarter of a tenth uh, to Kentucky, and I knew it was going to take a, a monumental effort. We had seen high scores on beam all night long for every single team. That's um, a fair point. And, and uh, we felt like if we could get over there and do some of our better routines, that we would reap that benefit as well, and that ended up bearing itself out. So you move through the lineup. The scores continue to build. You move through the high 9.8s into the, mm -hmm. into the 9.9s. And then, of course, it, it looked like that the meet was a bit nip and tuck. If you compare some of the other events that are going on at the same time, mm -hmm. you begin to see that, okay, it's going to come down to the last yeah. couple of performers, and I'll be darned if that's not what happened. That's exactly what happened. Everything was going well through through four, and then we had a mistake in the five spot, and, <laughs> and it really came down to Reagan Campbell, and could she be Reagan Campbell, and, uh, and she did. She kind of looked at everybody before she went like, I got this. Mm -hmm. and, um, went up there and went 9925, I believe, or 995, and um, did one of the best routines she's done all year. The senior from Dallas, Texas, just, you know, as you say, you've come to expect that out of, out of Reagan Campbell, but it's still, it, it never gets old to see her perform that routine at its highest level on the biggest stage with so much on the line and absolutely delivers in spades. How about this? How about that's our Women's Hospital Exceptional Performer of the Week. When experience matters, choose Women's. I say we choose Reagan Campbell. Absolutely. Reagan Campbell's beam, beam set is one of the most beautiful in the country. It flows. Everything's choreographed. She never stops moving. It's not a skill and a stop and a pause. Reagan, when she's at her best, she could be our exceptional performer every single week. So she hits the floor and the Tigers will hit the road to Fort Worth, Texas, punching their ticket as one of the teams that's making it to the... Jay, this is going to be an amazing event. I'm telling you, Mike, I mean, getting into the final eight now in this new format is the equivalent, really, of what it used to be to get into the Super Six. Right. Because when you look at our side of the bracket, it's us, it's Alabama, it's Oklahoma, it's Utah. <laughs> It, I mean, just just that side of the bracket alone, any one of those teams could win a national title. And and so the 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 semifinal portion of this new format, when it has it used to be 12 teams and now it's eight, has really become, uh, you know, a, a new benchmark uh, to, to really look at. And so I'm very proud of us being able to get to that level. It's only the second year that we've done this format. And uh, so we're. We're moving forward with a lot of confidence and hoping that we, we see our best gymnastics when we get there. One quick last point, Jay, before we let you go, and that is the, the, the training that you're going to do between now and the national championship. What does that look like? How do you manage at this point in the season? Well, coming out of the Salt Lake City Regional, there, there was a lot of emotional and, and physical trials that we went through, you know, trying to get through that weekend, and it was, it was hard. So the first couple of days back, We'll go light, we'll work parts, we'll kind of take the edge off a little bit mentally and not keep them so focused. As we go through the week on Friday and Saturday, uh, we'll try to do something that will mimic the first two days at Nationals with the training day and then the first day um, because that's really what we feel like our main focal point needs to be on right now. And then we'll take Sunday off and we'll train Monday and Tuesday and after practice get on an airplane, go to Fort Worth and enter our COVID bubble on Wednesday and um, let's see what happens. And you can follow the Tigers on all of the social media channels throughout the time at Fort Worth on Facebook, on Twitter, they're out there. Join them, follow them, and I'll tell you what, Jay, congratulations on this part of the season and best of luck around the corner. Thank you, Mike. More to come right after this quick timeout inside LSU Sports.
You need more layers, diagonal layers. I got it, Ron. Thanks. Leave him alone, Dad. Oh, honey, you should use ice blocks instead of cubes. No, no, Bud Light seltzer goes on top. Diagonal layers. Did you peach you the Bud Light lemonades? Need more ice. And diagonal layers. I mean, if you're gonna do it right. I don't need my hands getting cold. Why don't you try using a plum ski method? Brings out the citrus notes. Dad? You gotta crush the ice, son. Okay. I'm out. What's his problem? Whenever packing the cooler really, really matters, there's a Bud Light there. We get it. It feels like everything has changed. Masking up, changing demands at work, fewer gatherings. But one thing hasn't changed. Our commitment to your health. It's why Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group keeps finding better ways to serve you. Video visits with one of our providers, online scheduling, weekend hours, and nearly 100 locations where providers know your medical history. Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group, providing you with the best care where and when you need it. This is Ford Truck Month. Get the best offers of the year on America's best-selling trucks, like the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with a tailgate that doubles as a work surface. And count on the legendary performer, Ford Super Duty, our most capable heavy-duty pickup. This is Ford Truck Month. Don't miss it. Now get 4,250 cash back on a 2021 F-150, only during Ford Truck Month at your Southern Quality Ford dealer. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. We're born to be loud, born to be strong, born to work hard and tailgate harder. We're born to give it our all, on the field, in the stands, and beyond. We're born to be Tigers. We're the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Be part of the team behind the Tigers. Join today for better access and better perks. TAF, we're here for Tigers. Be there for them too. Annual membership starts at only $50. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. Hungry for some football? Well, Coach O has you covered. For the first time in two years, the LSU football spring game is back on the schedule and set in Tiger Stadium. Fans will get a glimpse not only this year of a new look roster, but also a new look staff, including two new coordinators. With LSU looking to rebound on defense, we mic'd up new defensive coordinator Durante Jones as he put the whistle to work in spring practice. Hey, let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's in our DNA. It's in our DNA. Great technique and eyes. Playing this game all your life. Good, good. Good. Keep your pad level low. The hook. Try to stay square though, right? As I come here, I want to start to stay here. Kiss the neck right there. Here we go. Run through your feet. Stay inside the cone. Sit. Hit. Boom. Run through your feet. Run through your feet. Good. Let's go. Go here. Kiss that neck. Say hit. Kiss that neck. Kiss that neck. Boom. Run through it. Run through it. Hey guys, the most important thing as I'm attacking Z, right? As I'm attacking Z, I'm looking right at that Nike check. I'm going to put my face mask on that Nike check. Come on, Z. Here, here. Boom. And I want to explode. We got to have the ability to uncoil at the snap, right? Let's go. Here we go. I should see an explosion. Yep, again. I want to see an explosion. Hit. Go. That's it. That's the explosion right there. Good. Way to flip those hips. Way to flip those hips. Let's ball out. Hey, remember your leverage, man. Go straight back when you're off. Seven. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sitting at number one in the country, the LSU men's and women's track and field teams combined to win 20 event titles at the Battle on the Bayou. What's a day like for an LSU track and field star? We join Noah Williams and Tania Marshall on Meet Day to give fans an inside look at a day in the life of one of the best programs in the country. Uh. 
Good morning, good morning. My name is Tania Marshall and we're here for our early morning shakeout. I'm very excited for our first outdoor meet today because we're all looking to get some great work in. So stay tuned to see how we do. Bye. Y'all just finished up the shakeout, about to head back to the crib, get some food in it, probably listen to some music, chill out a little bit, and then it's back to back to the track for some action. So I'm really excited. Hey look, it might be cold outside today. We finna bring some heat though. <laughs> I promise you that. So today was a pretty good day. Um, we all got better and we walked away with two victories. So a victory in the 4x1 and I ended up winning the 200 as, as well as getting a PR. Um, it's my first time running the event since 2017. So I'm really happy with the result and you know I definitely got better today. I got some things that I can improve on as well. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season. We've come to the conclusion of the meet. I think the meet was good in all events. I think we all tried our best and we worked to the best of our abilities. Um, I know everybody's body just wasn't in it today just because we're coming off a fast Texas relays. So I think everybody, you know, got out and worked hard and did what we needed to do. But I'm excited for next week. Um, I got some good work in today, so we'll see what we can do next week. Go Tigers! you love to play academy sports and outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your academy store when you're expecting you have expectations but what if there was more what if your caregivers were your teachers and your cheerleaders and they helped you plan and prepare so you can have a voice in your care. This is the experience of a lifetime, and experience matters. Your experience starts with the Pregnancy Navigator at Woman's Hospital. To the people stepping up in the face of an unprecedented challenge, thank you for everything you're doing to serve our communities and keep us safe. To the people of Hancock Whitney, Thanks for being the ones our clients can count on. Because even though it feels like everything has changed right now, it's reassuring to see that some things haven't. We'll get through this the same way we always do, together. When the ground shifts beneath you, you can run or you can stand firm. At LSU, our stand is rock solid. Our blood runs hot even as our heads stay cool. Because now is a pivotal moment in the fight for our future. And we refuse to back down when the world needs solutions. LSU, fierce for the future. LSU Tigers fans, show your pride with real Tigers gear from the official online store, lsushop.net. You'll find everything a Tigers fan needs, including jerseys, sideline gear, polos, t-shirts, hats, and more. With an awesome selection of over 4,100 products, including official team merchandise from Nike, when it comes to Tigers pride, there's only one place real Tigers fans go, lsushop.net. This segment of Inside LSU Sports is brought to you each week by Academy Sports and Outdoors. 
Academy Sports and Outdoors. With curbside pickup, it's never been easier to shop in store or online at academy.com. If there's one team that's been a mainstay in our top plays this season, it's Beth Turina's LSU softball team, who now have wins in three of the first four SEC weekends. Here's a look back at the weekend versus Ole Miss, which serves as the lone home series for the Tigers in April. So they've got some veterans right here in the middle of their lineup, Latham and then Gillespie and then Gutierrez. Slow grounder to the left side. Doyle will pick it up at third, throw to first in time, one away. Lefty bat, here's the one two. Runs up, did she check her swing? I don't think she did. Appeal down, says no she did not. Swing and strike, the one two. Line drive caught by Pleasance, they're gonna get a double play. She tossed it to Coffee, covering the runner at second bank, strayed too far away. Made one of the cardinal sins of base running. You gotta make the line drive go through. And she grounds it in the hole. Pleasance has it, throw to third in time. to Doyle to get the runner and there's one out. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, got her on a pitch down and in. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, pass and Sari, picked up by Pleasance, who can't get the out. The runner's around third trying to come home and she's gonna be out by a mile. Here's the 1-0. Clark hits a little blooper over the pitcher. It bounces on the infield. The throw to home is not in time and LSU wins the game. First pitch to the lefty, fly ball out into center. It should be deep enough to score Stewart. Center fielder's got it. Her throw home is not gonna be in time. Tigers have the lead, two and two to Pleasance. And she grounds it to second, and it's off the second baseman into right field. That'll be an error, but it's gonna score a run. And the Tigers have a two to nothing lead. Fly ball to left center, it's hit well. It's hit a long way, left fielder back, that is gone. Taylor Pleasance, a go-ahead home run to the Tiger Terrace on the first pitch she sees in the sixth inning. It's three to two LSU. Here's the one one. Ground ball on one hop. Taylor Tidwell at second's got it. Throw to first in time, ball game over. And the Tigers win by a score of three to two. Another week is in the book for LSU Athletics, but we have another busy week on tap. As always, we'll be here to bring you all the sights and sounds. I'm Emily Dixon, and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Inside LSU Sports, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll see you next week.